And I'd like to talk to you about these vacuum form paintings that you're going to be looking at. And there's some that are actually called uh, still lifes. These vacuum form paintings are done in plastic, and I like that, uh, that kind of concept that the philosophy and the work is all about plastic. And it was something that I, I used way early on in 65, 64, and 5 as my new way to work with, common, with the common commodities of our time. And I would like to think that the plastic bottles we have are our common pottery of today. And so it's a way that I like to think about stuff. I went to a factory and I talked to the fellow and asked him if I'd come in on weekends and we would make these vacuum forms. So it's the same way that shell signs are made and SO signs and all. A lot of the signs that you see that are lit up are done in vacuum forming process. It's a way that you, you melt this plastic and then it, it's draped over the objects and when you create a vacuum, you, you pull a valve and a vacuum happens and it happens within an instant and it sucks down over these objects and then the plastic has a memory that it won't go back to where it was, so it stays at that particular point. So that's how they're made, and uh, I, I like them just exhibited as they happen. And you're probably wondering about what plastic means today, but I, it's a material that we both have to love and hate, because it's very important in the medical industry and in all the things that help with plastic valves, but it is a product that we're learning more about how to biodegrade it. And so I've come to realize that. I mean, it's part of our e ecological way of thinking and looking at our environment. So I'm happy to say there are lots of chemists who are more ecologically involved, and plastic will evolve in the future to dissolve and to atrophy into the earth or something and go back to the kind of chemicals where it came from. But it's mainly coming from this ecological background of how I see things infused with all the other things that we do. And so... Um, enjoy these pieces and, uh, and I think you'll see them as uh, kind of a new way to look at painting and still life works.